Hello guys, today I am here with a new chapter which is Resources and Development from Class 10 CBSE Social Studies. Resources. Let's see what the resources are first of all. Resources are everything in our environment which can be used to satisfy our needs and is technologically accessible. Economically feasible and culturally acceptable is termed as resources. Okay, so let me uh, let me tell you some easy definition according to me, which is which is easy one. So listen carefully. Everything in our environment which can be utilized and satisfy our needs and which is acceptable from every side of view are called resources. Okay, so this definitely I, I have made this definition from the uh, from the notes only, but I have compressed it so that you could easily understand the human being themselves are essential component of resources. So human beings are human beings are essential components of resources. They transfer material available in environment. What they do is transfer. They use wood. Like for example, they use wood and then what they do is they make they modify them into the furniture so this is the transfer the transfer material available in our environment to resources the new furniture made would be called as our resources hope you guys understood okay so let's go forward uh let me spotlight Better to write, not to write here. It will create a sound for you guys, so that's why I'm just trying not to have a sound which disturbs you guys. Resources can be classified in the following way. Okay, so resources can be classified on the basis of origin, biotic, and abiotic. So they can be classified origin origin is the start starting point so if we uh, our, we view from the origin they are divided into biotic and abiotic exhaustibility so how they could uh, exhaust means to get flow off means exhaust means what we can say like khatam ho jana yeah in hindi it means khatam ho jana so renewable and non-renewable on the basis of ownership, individual, community, national and international. So ownership means the owner, depend on the owner, which, which can be individual or one community or it can be of whole of nation or it can be of whole world. On the basis of status of development, status of development means it can be of potential develop stock or resource so potential means we have resources but still we don't have a technology to use them so let i'll explain everything step by step this is something which is given in new york let me make it big one so this is given in your textbooks yes i have made this uh, I mean, these notes I have made by my own, and what I've used this picture for you guys. So, the resources are natural and human. Natural are renewable, non renewable, and in human structures and in, uh, institutions, quality and quantity. So, renewable continuous or flow, wind and water, and biological natural vegetation so here we are just going to see of this we are not going to see all this 
sub topic we are just going to learn this and it so let's start on the basis of origin biotic resources are obtained from biosphere and have a life so biotic means living we can remember biotic means living like human being flora fauna fisheries livestock etc biotic uh, abiotic resources are simply a non living all things which are composed on non living things are abiotic rock metal ores etc on the basis of exhaustibility renewable and non renewable renewable means it can be renewed we can use it again and again resources which can be renewed okay so here you can see renewed let me highlight it off yes renewed or reproduced with physical chemical mechanical process as a renewable or replenishable resource the renewable resources may further be divided into continuous or flow as we saw in um, that flow chart so it can be further divided into continuous but still we are just learning for renewable and non renewable solar wind energy solar and wind energy water forest so they don't get exhaust they are in continuous flow we uh, uh what we can say like wo khatam nahi ho jane wale we can continue the use sunlight sunlight is not going to be over anyways wind is going to uh, wind is not going to be over water is um uh, that over all the 70% covered with water so we have a lot of water but still we don't have a water which is drinkable but we have the water which is a uh, saline water forest and wildlife soil these are not going to be exhaust they are going to be we can use it them again and again non renewable resources uh, of course they form they take a very long time to be uh, form again and take a millions and trillions of years in the formation some of the resources like metal are recyclable and some of the fossils will cannot be recyclable and get exhausted with the use so minerals for example minerals we can take iron metal and also we can reuse it we can mold it in the different shape but still fossil fuels like petroleum kerosene all these things are not recycling if we use it in a vehicle it flows away and we can't use it again on the basis of ownership so let's see on the basis of individual community in action and so on so let's start individual resources are owned privately by individual so they are owned privately by individual so individual resources means of one person is the head and it is by or owned by a individual of like uh, for example we can take a land of a villager villager has his own land a person one person uh in urban areas you can take example like people having their own plots their own house other properties plantation pasture land ponds water wells so all these things are present in a particular land and it are they are owned by individual people community owned resources are owned by so Uh, many members all members of community are owned by community like playground burial ground parks all these things are owned by community for example yes it can be like it's a individual person's park also but for 
this is the public parks like uh, what we can say is the park national no not national yeah it's a public park you know in your city and many people are using that so it is community park so we can assume it like that national reserve we made a resource is for a country or a nation for example minerals water resources forests wildlife lands and they can use uh, for example india can use oceanic area of 20 uh, sorry 12 nautical miles which is 22.2 km from coast coast of or boundaries you can say which belongs to a nation like road canal railways so this thing you should remember that india can use 12 nautical miles after its political boundary which is international which are used by internationally like for example some countries are 200 nautical miles they are very far away uh, sorry the places which are 200 nautical miles far away from the particular country which is utilized and used by which can be utilized and used by different uh, nation with the permission of international institution they have to take international permission of international institution on the basis of status of development potential develop like stock because so first of all we will see the potential resources as the resources which are found in a region but have been not utilized so we have the resources but still we don't have the technology to use them for example rajasthan and gujarat have enormous potential of the of development of wind and solar uh energy but so far this haven't been developed properly so they, they are not developed properly and we don't have technology use to use them another we have is uh develop resources which are surveyed and their quality and quantity have been determined for utilization so development uh resources which are which we are using and its quantity and quality have been defined by our uh, nation or whatever we can take like development of resources depend on technology and level of its feasibility so the development of resources depend on what from what it depends is on technology and a level of level of feasibility material in environment which have potential to satisfy human needs being do not have appropriate technology as access these are called stock so stock means uh, like uh see for example we have i have a large stock of clothes but i don't have a time to wear them i don't have any occasion to wear them so something like that so it's something that we have so much stock available like um for example what we can say uh we can take example of solar energy in gujarat yes we can take so we have a stock of it but still we don't have technology to use them so far we are not developed to use them so this is something ha here it is given example that hydrogen can be used as a rich source of energy but we don't have adequate technology to use it 
for example uh, you know the bike are being researched and being modified by some uh, some automobile industry or some research trust that they can make a bike of hydrogen water but still we don't have technology to use them we have water but still we don't have a good technology so this is some reserve okay just a minute reserves are subset of stock which can be put in use with the help of existing technology so we can reserves mean we can use them with the existing technology so something which we are having in stock and we are using it and we have the technology to use them and this can be used for meeting future requirements also for example watering dam so we have technology that we have made a dam and we have resources as a water so we can use it for future use so it is a type of reserve forest is a reserve which can be used in future development of resources has been used by human being in this thing. okay so let's start with development of resources so develop kaise karenge resources ka wo dekhte hain so development means hum usse resources ko kaise aur modify kar sakte hain uska production kaise increase kar sakte hain so let's see resources have been used by human indiscriminately and this has led to following major problems depletion of resources for satisfying the greed of few individuals so what we need to do is reduce the use of resources for uh, fulfilling the future's need so how uh, so what we can do is depletion of resources so kuch logo ke greed ho they are using a resources too much and this should be depleted accumulation of resources in a few hands which in turn divide the society into two segments first rich and second poor so some resources have been handed to the few people only and this few people owned a well money and this well money uh, due to this well money they are termed as a rich people and in few hands they don't have any resources to use so they are termed as a poor people it had led to global ecological crisis such as global uh, global warming so using up a lot of resources which cause a global warming depletion of ozone layer and environmental pollution land degrading so uh, global warming and ozone layer depletion is mostly due to um fuels fossil fuels so uh, do you know that hamara ozone layer the one ozone layer which have patches broken down and a patches which allow uh, in some areas some places so this has been covered again due to what lockdown they have covered again due to lockdown i hope my voice is audible to you guys i need to speak much louder okay i'll try to speak a louder one resources planning is essential for sustainable existence of all form of life sustainable economic development means the development should take place without damaging environment and development 
in present should not compromise with the needs of future generation sustainable means in welfare uh, we should uh, use the resources with the welfare of environment in short i just explain sustainable means environment ka ko harm kiye bina hame use karna chahiye resources in india there are some uh, sorry resources planning kaise karte hain so in india there are some region which can be considered self self sufficient in term of the availability of resources and the uh, there are some region which have acute storage of some vital resources this calls of for balanced resources planning at national state regional and local level so kisi state mein koi cheez अच्छी मिलती है किसी स्टेट में कोई और चीज तो वी कैन शेयर इट ऑफ विथ ईच एंड एवरी वन रिसोर्स इज प्लानिंग इन इंडिया रिसोर्स इज प्लानिंग इज वन ऑफ द कॉम्प्लेक्स कॉम्प्लेक्स प्रोसेस सो आइडेंटिफिकेशन एंड इन्वेंटरी ऑफ रिसोर्स अक्रॉस द रीजन ऑफ कंट्री so what are some people doing what's their job is to identify where the resources are to be uh are being are we, uh, i'm sorry when i'm telling this kahan se hame resources milenge some people find the region in a country where we will get a good resource uh i think a good amount of gold is found in uh india in 19 in 19 i think so uh something like i'll tell you i'll tell you afterwards in the next video i uh, research it off and then tell you टेक्नोलॉजी मशीनरी and some good labor for implementation of resource development plan matching the resources development plan with overall national develop plan so then what they do they match the resources overall national development plan if that plan is satisfied or appropriate if we use this uh, according to our olin plan will think like that the resources can contribute to develop only when they are accompanied by appropriate technological development institutional changes India has made concert uh, concerted effort towards achieving goal of resource plan right from first five years plan launch after independence. So India has done lots of effort for resource plan. overall irritating concept uh, sorry irrational consumption and overall utilization so and reserves uh, resource reservation at various level is important so india have lots of resources available but still lack of technology lack of labor labor is available but we we uh, we want a skilled labor not unskilled labor 
land resources land is a natural resource of upholding at most important uh, it support natural vegetation wildlife hum uh, human life economic activity transport communication system began the land under a variety of religious features namely mountain plateau plain island as shown below so hum dekhte hain let's see plain is india mein plain is 43% mountain is 30% and plateau is 27% so plain we can find plain uh plain ka mil sakta hai in gujarat mp madhya pradesh maharashtra karnataka karnataka tamil nadu kerala all this place where we can find plain Of mountain we can find yeah Haryana Delhi Rajasthan U U P ha some hot area hot area and what about mountain we can find mountain in areas like Jammu Kashmir Himachal uh, Uttarakhand. Arunachal Pradesh, all the seven districts. Yes. And plateau are the middle India, middle somewhere down what Chhattisgarh and all these areas. So then up plateau, where so then up the plateau is only. So you need to remember that forty three percent is plain, thirty percent is mountain, and twenty seven percent is plain. Oh, sorry, plateau. Well, how to do how to do land utilization? The land resources are used for the following purposes. Forest के लिए use होता है. Land not available for cultivation. Land which is not available for cultivation. Barren. Barren and wasteland. Barren means oh, nothing grows there. Like barren, we can take the uh, desert. Wasteland, which is of no use. Land put to non-agricultural uses. So, ha, huh, non-agricultural means there. We can't grow crops, so we use it for making plots, uh, as a plot for ha- making house and all. Fallow lands, fallow lands. Okay, so fallow land, fallow land means. Ha, so fallow land means kya hota hai? The land which is uh, which where plants can grow. But it is kept for some period of time. Either it is kept for some period of time to regain its nutrition. It is a fallow land. Other uncultivated land, including the excluding fallow land, net zone area. Now, what is a net zone area? नेक्सोन एरिया मतलब जो एरिया जो लैंड विच इज कल्टिवेटेड मोर देन मतलब इन विच क्रॉप्स आर सोन मोर देन वन टाइम इन अयर ओके सो लेट मी हैव अ डेफिनेशन फॉर यू गाइज फॉर अ प्रॉपर एक्सप्लेनेशन Okay, so this is the net zone area. Net zone area refers to the area sown more than once in an agricultural year. 
in India, the states of plain region, uh, sorry, plain region like Punjab, Haryana have most of the natural area. So, I think this is a good information for you guys. Land use pattern is See how the pattern is there. Physical factors such as topography and land use of, uh, use of land is determined by physical factors such as topography, climate, and soil type. So it depends on physical factors. Human factors such as population density, technology, capability, uh, culture, and traditional. The so data represent, uh, sorry, represents the land use pattern in India. So here, general land use category in 1960 and 61, general in 2014 and 50. So this is, um, this is I think a net zone area. Big cut there. Yes, let me do it. Big one. Yes, yes this is a net zone area. This blue one is forest. This red one is barren and uncultivable wasteland, which is not for any use. This was the uh, in uh, this was the land uses pattern in 1960-61. This is area under non-agricultural use means. All the construction parts are taken place in this much land. Permanent pasture and grazing land. Okay. Area under mist tree crops and rows. Especially for uh, trees growing for trees. Culturable waste land. This is the fellow other than current flow. Fellow, sorry. Fellow land kept for kept as it is for few time. Current fellow current means a bit of current heaven. A be ye next on area. It means our area may salme do bar crop ugate Punjab Harim. A be jo amara forest ta eighteen se twenty three over. Forest region. See, जो हमारा barren land था वो 18 percent से 5 percent कम होगा. 18 से 5 percent होगा. Non agricultural use जो था वो बढ़ गया. क्योंकि जैसे जैसे population बढ़ी वैसे वैसे जगह की जरूरत भी बढ़ी. फिर permanent pasture जो था वो भी थोड़ा सा कम किया गया फिर जो मिमिक ट्रीज और वो भी कम हुए but still we should work after it we should have more land for it according to me culturable waste land था वो भी कम हुआ fallow land था वो भी increase हुआ थोड़ा सा Current fellow land will be increased, more, but still we are in good progress. Wasteland is a land put on other non agricultural use, which include rocky, arid, desert areas, railway, roads, industry, etc. Continuous use of land over a long period of time without taking appropriate measure of conserve and manage to measure uh, measure to conserve and manage it has resulted in a land degradation so the wasteland ke liye hum uh, road banate the uh, industries banate so ye isse land degradation increase hua hai so, ये land degradation कैसे हुआ और उसको कैसे conserve कर सकते that we are going to see now. 
अभी जो ह्यूमन एक्टिविटीज है लाइक डिफॉरेस्टेशन ओवर ग्रेजिंग माइनिंग क्वेरिंग वो उसी उसकी वजह से लैंड डिग्रेडेशन हुआ तो माइनिंग साइड लीव से डीप स्कार्स एंड टेरेस और ओवर बॉर्डर न्यू द लैंड तो माइनिंग में वी डग डग द लैंड एंड वी आर वी कैप्टिक स्कार्स फॉर लॉन्ग टाइम विच इज विच कॉज अ लैंड डिग्रेडेशन सो द एरिया इन विच द इट इज डग सो that is degraded we can call is that a degraded in recent years industrial influence as a waste become a major source of land and so industrial waste is a major source for land degradation some ways through which we can solve the problem of land degradation are of forestation we should we should grow more trees then what we need to do is um uh, Managing the grazing areas, pasture area, planting a shelter belt for plant. So sh- we should have a shelter belt for plants. Sand dunes and growing thorny bushes. Proper management of wasteland. Control of mining activities. Proper discharge and disposal of industrial effluent and waste after treatment. So we should have a proper disposal of industries. Soil as a resource is the most important renewable natural resource. As I told you when we were talking about the renewable resources, I also told you the example of soil. In uh, and here it is written that it is a non-renewable. It is the medium of plant growth and support different types of Living organism on Earth. Yes, we know plants is very much uh, important to every one. If the soil is not there, then how could be a land? Land is not there, then how could we stand? Plant can be stood up. It's all about the soil. तो सॉइल बनने में इट टूक मिलियंस ऑफ ईयर वेन रॉक इज देर रॉक ब्रेक डाउन ब्रेक डाउन ब्रेक डाउन इन स्मॉल 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 पार्टिकल एंड देन इट फॉर्म अ सॉइल वेरियस फोर्सेज ऑफ नेचर लाइक टेम्परेचर रिडक्शन रनिंग वाटर रेन ग्लेशियर्स एक्टिविटीज ऑफ डीकम्पोजर्स एक्सेट्रा कंट्रीब्यूट द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ सॉइल तो दिस इज द फैक्टर्स विच ऑफ Uh, responsible for formation of soil. Parent rock means the rock which is in a initial form and then it break down due to climate, vegetation, other forms of life. Important factors of formation of soil. Uh, the main initial rock is called a parent rock or bad rock. Chemical and organic changes which take place in soil play an important role. Soil as it consists of Uh, organic and inorganic chemical and organic changes which take place in soil play important role soil is a soil also consists of organic humus and inorganic material so it consists of organic and inorganic material classification of soil on the basis of factor responsible for soil formation color thickness texture age chemical physical properties so these are the some uh, factors and properties of soil of india so let's see some types of soil uh, present in india first is alluvial soil so alluvial soil is let me annotate it To explain you more much better, the entire northern plain. This is the most important things of this chapter. The entire northern plains are made of alluvial soil. So we have our India like this, like this, like this, like this. Like, assume it like that. I'm not a. I 
can draw it from like left from a device. So all these northern plains are covered with alluvial soil. अभी रेस्ट कर लेती हूँ एलुवेल सॉइल इज अ डिपोजिट ऑफ थ्री इम्पॉर्टेंट सो इट इज अ डिपोजिट ऑफ थ्री इम्पॉर्टेंट हिमालयन रिवर सिस्टम द इंडस गंगा ब्रह्मपुत्र सो इट इज द डिपोजिशन ऑफ इंडस गंगा एंड ब्रह्मपुत्र थ्री आई जी बी बी आई जी बी या विल रिमेम्बर लाइक दिस बी इज बींग वियर लाइक बी आई जी तो बी फॉर ब्रह्मपुत्र वेरी हार्ड फॉर मी गंगा and it is for in okay so we you will remember like a big then it is also found in rajasthan and gujarat eastern coastal plain matlab ye jo rivers are from northern plain se nikal diya matlab northern mountain se nikal diya to उसके डिपोजिट से एलोवियल सॉइल बनती है वो प्रेजेंट होते हैं राजस्थान और गुजरात में भी प्रेजेंट है ये टाइप की सॉइल ईस्टर्न कोस्टल में मीन्स हमारे वेस्ट बंगाल में उधर उधर भी प्रेजेंट है उड़ीसा में उसके जो कोस्टल एरिया है उधर भी प्रेजेंट है और डेल्टा हमारी कावेरी महानदी वो सारे वेस्टर्न रिवर्स है उधर भी प्रेजेंट है कृष्णा कावेरी Alluvial soil consists of various proportion of sand and silt. It is present in sand, silt, and clay. As we move in land towards the river valley, soil particles appear to be bigger in size. Where the upper side of the river valley are the soil and coal. Some are big and some are small. It it is telling us that based on age, alluvial soil. So there are it can be classified according to its age. So old alluvial Bangar. It is old alluvial is called. बंगार न्यू एलोवियल इज कॉल खादर बंगार एंड खादर एंड वर्ड खादर इज अ मोर फर्टाइल देन बंगार एलोवियल इज अ वेरी फर्टाइल सॉइल एलोवियल सॉइल इज वेरी फर्टाइल it contain potash phosphoric acid lime and it is very good for a growth of sugarcane paddy wheat and other cereals and pulses so this is the image of alluvial soil it appears like this you can see here it's the sand particles sand particles somewhat like sand this a bit sand black sand this soil is black in color and is also called rigor soil black color ki soil is kya bolte hai rigor bolte hai climatic condition along with the parent rock material are the most important factor of formation of black soil so parent is the most parent rock is the most important for Uh, making a black soil. Black soil is present in uh, it is present in Gujarat, Maharashtra, Madhya Pradesh. Soil is ideal for growth of cotton, and uh, it's ideal for growth of cotton. 
and a black cotton. This is known as a black cotton. So in a previous video, my manufacturing industry wala video, I have taught you that why the concentration is higher, uh, concentration of cotton industry is, is higher in Maharashtra's area and uh, Western area. This is because the production of cotton is very good in a black soil and black soil is present in the Gujarat and Maharashtra region. This type of soil is typically of Deccan crops, basalt region spread over northern western Deccan that is made of lava flow. It is made of lava flows also. Deccan trap. The soil cover the plateau of Maharashtra, Saurashtra, which is present in Gujarat, Malwa Plateau, Madhya Pradesh, and Chhattisgarh, and exists in southern eastern direction of Godavari and Krishna. The black soil are made up of extremely fine, that is, the clay material. They are made up of a clay material and known for they are known for holding a moisture. They have a good capacity to hold a moisture. Black soil is a nutrition rich and contains a calcium carbonate and magnesium potash and lime. It contains calcium carbonate, magnesium potash and lime. A soil is sticky and wet. It is known for capacity to hold moisture so it is it must be sticky and wet so and difficult to work on unless filled immediately after four shower during the pre module so when it after four shower it is very difficult to work in this field after it gets some uh, what dry so this uh, here is the image of a black soil. In my region, you will be able to find easily this soil. I, my farm is of black soil. Red soil, red and yellow soil. Here you can see red soil. It's a type of soil developed on a crystalline igneous rock. Igneous rock se bhandi hai. Jahan no rainfall hota hai. Like Deccan Plateau mein milti hai. This soil develops a reddish color due to iron present by silver reddish color diffusion of reddish color. It looks yellow when it occurs in a hydrated. So when water is present in it, it looks uh, yellow, yellow type. Found in parts of Orissa, where we get the rainfall, we get Southern part of Middle Ganga Plain. Along the payment of Western Ghats. Laterate soil. Tropical and subtropical climate with alternate wet and dry season. Lateric soil, which is very heavy, mountainous region, is most of the time. It is a forest region. Lateric soil developed under a tropical and subtropical climate with alternate wet and dry season. So it can be found. Uh, so this type of soil is found where a wet and dry season both are there. Means uh, in summer it get a uh, whole wet, uh, sorry dry and in winter, uh, sorry rainy get wet. This soil is a result of intense leaching due to heavy rain. The lacteric soil are acidic. They are very acidic in nature and generally its pH is 6 and so they are um, acidic in nature and this type of soil is found mostly in southern states. 
सदर्न स्टेट्स में मोस्टली फाउंड होती है वेस्टर्न गार्ड रीजन लाइक महाराष्ट्र उड़ीसा संपत्स वेस्ट बंगाल सो इट्स डिपेंड दे आर फाउंड इन सम एरिया the soil support the deciduous and evergreen forest the deciduous and evergreen forest it supports this this areas and it is used for growing tea and coffee so coffee uh, coffee and tea i think karnataka is the producer of coffee so karnataka area it is written that it southern states so it is good producer of coffee arid soil rate to ground mein range hoti hai this type of soil i think they are present in punjab areas punjab and all yes uh soil is generally generally sandy in texture and saline in nature this, this type of soil is sandy and are saline salt content saline means they contain a salt and they are, it has a very large amount of salt, uh, salt present in them what they have they have a very large amount of soil uh, salt present in them arid soil lack humus and moisture so this soil lack humus and moisture lower horizon of soil are occupied by kanker because of increasing calcium content downwards so kanker layer formation in bottom horizon restrict the import uh, filtration of water So, soil is occupied in a calcium region because calcium is present in it, so that they are mainly found in the calcium region. This uh, forest soil, the forest is the soil of this. The forest soil both the highly and mountainous region where forest soil will be. They are silt valley or loamy hogi. in various types and coast grain the upper slopes so step farming hoti hai usme bhi forest soil milti hai in the snow covered area of himalayas this soil experiences the denudation and the acidic with low humus content so they become uh, denudation and acidic when humus is Na, uh, low. So, what do you mean by humus? Humus is a type of fertilizer. Hmm? Type of fertilizer, not the fertilizer. Uh, leaves के जो decompose होने से जो material बनता है, that is the humus. The map below. Let's work out for a map. So this is the forest area. So remember that forest in are present in a mountainous region like uh, Jammu Kashmir, Uttarakhand, Himal Himachal and all, Sikkim. Okay. Alluvial soil. This is the alluvial soil in Punjab. Alluvial soil is present. UP, Gujarat. Gujarat is covered with alluvial soil. And Middle Gujarat is have a black soil. This is the black soil, Maharashtra, and the other soil is also black soil. then red soil red soil are mostly present in this area odisha west bengal valley area and all the seven system is around nagaland and all tamil nadu karnataka kerala 
Arid soil is in Rajasthan. Yes, yes, yes. It is in Rajasthan. I told you. Uh, for I told you Punjab, but yeah, it's in some part of Punjab. I told you, but it is in Rajasthan also. So soil conservation. So how to conserve soil? This we all know, but still I'm teaching you guys. Subsequent washing down, the denudation of soil covers subsequent washing down is described as a soil erosion. The soil erosion when washing out of the first layer of soil is called soil erosion. The soil erosion is caused due to human activities that activities like deforestation, overgrazing, construction, and mining. So we all know we have discussed before. There are some nature forces like wind, glacier, water, which lead to soil erosion. Soil erosion is also caused by nature factors also. Soil erosion is caused due to the defective method of farm. So when it is a defective, not a proper method farm of farming, it is called it causes soil erosion. Running water cuts off the clay soil and makes the deep canals and as a gully. So when a water is running, so let me show you the picture of gully. Just wait a second. Here you can see it is a gully uh, erosion. Uh, gully erosion means when a water flows on a same path, it creates a dugging, erode the soil from the from its curve. And this land becomes unfit, unfit for cultivation. And it's known as bad land. This land becomes a bad when water flow as a sheet over a large area down a slope and the top soil is washed. When a sheet of a soil is washed off on its slope, the top soil is washed away. It is known as a, known as a sheet erosion. So, uh, which here you can see it, it is a sheet erosion hole. The sheet is being washed out. And only the canal, which is made like it is a gully erosion. Wind blows lost soil off flat and softens the land known as a wind erosion. Wind erosion is a small factor. Different ways of conservation of soil. Plowing around the counter line. This is. So plowing, yes, plowing is khodna. Khodeng ye to achche se. What we can say, wind soil erosion nahi hoga. Terrace cultivation step. Step by step cultivation karenge. Himalayas mein bahut chalta hai. So achhi practice hogi agriculture. When a large field is divided into strips. And strips of grass are left to grow between crops, and this breaks up the force of nature. Ha! Huh. So strips of grass. See, I'll so show you the strips. I'll show you something. Just wait. चलिए तो देखिए ये है strips. मतलब ऐसे line बनानी चाहिए. ताकि जो फोर्स है विंड का तो उससे जो प्लांट है वो डैमेज नहीं हो हो जाए और जो विंड का फोर्स हो उसे ब्रेक कर दे तो इट इज अ मेथड कॉल स्ट्रिप क्रॉपिंग द प्लांटिंग लाइंस ऑफ ट्रीज टू क्रिएट अ शेल्टर हेल्प इन स्टेबलाइजिंग द सैंड ड्यून्स एंड इन स्टेबलाइजिंग डेजर्ट इन वेस्टर्न इंडिया रोज ऑफ सच ट्रीज आर कॉल शेल्टर बेस तो अभी शेल्टर बेस भी मैं दिखा रही हूँ 